hey, <laughs> I, I, I didn't think anyone else would still be here this late. <laughs> What's got you so busy? They did what? <laughs> I, I thought that program was supposed to roll out next week. Are the high arps really okay with another extension? Oh, the, I mean, oh, ugh, that bad, huh? God, that meeting must have been awful. But, I mean, it sounds like it's the external company's fault that it's getting delayed so much. I mean, they can't be trying to tie that to you, can they? What? But, but you, you can't possibly do all that data validation on your own. I, I mean, I, I've, I've seen those files. They're huge. That's why you're still here? Oh my god. Is there anything I can do to help? I mean, fuck management if they expect you to do this all on your own. <laughs> Look, the data is broken up by warehouse, right? You can just send me the, I don't know, California and Colorado data, and I can take a stab at it. What do you mean, no? I mean, I, I, was, I was part of the initial validations back in the first sprint of the project. I know how to run the comparisons. That's not it. Well, who cares if they gave it all to you? That's ridiculous. Sea levels don't give a shit who does the work. They just want it done. I mean, you don't have to tell anyone I, I help. I, I don't need to get credit. I, the principle of it? <laughs> the principle isn't going to matter much when you pass out of exhaustion. Look, to be blunt, you look like hell. And I imagine you feel twice as bad. You're always good at hiding how ragged they run you, so, I mean, if, it, if it's showing this much, you've got to be drowning. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I noticed. I noticed the little things. The way your smile falters just that little bit when, when you agree to take on another task to help some some ungrateful co-worker or the tiredness behind your eyes that, 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 little, that little quiet sigh when you when you realize you're gonna have to work through lunch again I, I notice <laughs> I pay attention because I care about you I mean, you're the only person in this damn office who ever showed me any concern. <laughs> and, and you didn't just show me some. I mean, you're... You've given me more support than... Uh, well, well, than anybody. In my adult life, anyway. <laughs> I mean, I really was not qualified for this job. <laughs> no, no, it's the truth. I wasn't ready. A at all. <laughs> oh, come on, you remember how I was when I started here? I mean, <laughs> I, I practically couldn't turn on the computer without some help. Excel might as well have been, you know, a foreign language. <laughs> I was a mess, and it showed. I mean, my first trainer literally gave up on me. That's how you ended up having to train me. Didn't I ever tell you that? <laughs> yeah, no, Amy. Yeah, Amy fully gave up on me. 
She told Clint they should just let me go. I mean, he pawned me off on you as, I don't know, some Hail Mary pass to see if I could stick it out. <sighs> yeah. No, but, but you were an amazing trainer. I mean, you were patient and, and kind. But, I mean, you weren't a pushover either. I mean, you called out my mistakes. You, you held me accountable when I kept doing the same things wrong. You, you knew I could be better. You, you made me better. And I'm, 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 not, I'm not just talking about work, you know. I mean, I'm kind of a fuck up. I, I mean, at least, at least I used to be, you know. I mean, I, I cheated my way through high school. I scraped by through college on the bare minimum. I mean, I, I didn't give a shit about anything. Because I hadn't had to up to that point. You know? But then, suddenly I was on the business end of a degree that meant nothing to me and that I had learned nothing pursuing and I was in the real world. I didn't want this job. I, mean, I, I, fuck, I, didn't, I didn't want any job. I, but I needed money. So. But you... You cut through all my bullshit, you know? You, you told me straight up that I could be better and that you planned to get me there. And it took a long time. <laughs> but we got there. I'm good at this job now. Damn good. <laughs> I mean, not as good as you, but better than everybody else on this team. And I'm proud of that. I didn't think I'd ever be that guy. Proud of my work, of my accomplishments. You know, it has made me look at my whole life differently, I guess. I, I mean, I make plans. I, set goals <laughs> and, I, and I stick to them I mean I got my credit together I, I've been saving up money I, don't, I actually work out and make myself do it <laughs> I you know I, I, I do productive adult shit now <laughs> and I'm proud of it <laughs> and and that started with you. No. I, I mean that. It did start with you. And I don't say that lightly. I'm not just trying to cheer you up or, or blow sunshine up your ass, you know? I know I've thanked you a million little times for for each question you answered or piece of advice you gave but, but but this is a different thank you thank you for for seeing something in me for not giving up on me thank you for showing me I had the power to fix my own problems and and for having the patience to stick with me while I did I mean even after you got that promotion and, and left the team you were still there for me I mean you always found time for me even when you were running yourself completely into the ground you find some way to, to 
scrape out 30 minutes of your full attention for me. I wish I'd known then that that, that meant you'd have to stay that much later to make up for it. But, I mean, I, I didn't even realize. I mean, you never turned me away or, or made me feel rushed. You, you smiled at me. You, you talked to me like I was an equal. You don't know what that can mean to a person. I guess what I'm trying to say is I care about you a lot. Not not as a coworker and and, and not not just as a friend either. I have liked you ever since my first day here. <laughs> you have no idea how excited I was when I found out you'd be my new trainer. <laughs> and then how terrified I was that I was disappointing you, bothering you. <laughs> but, I mean, even if I did, you always had a smile for me. Such a sweet smile. And soft, caring eyes. I don't see any judgment there when I look in them. And that's... That's something special. You're something special. I... I, I just... I needed to tell you that, finally. <laughs> and, and if that's awkward, if if that fucks things up, I... so glad you did that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that felt amazing. <laughs> I, I have thought about kissing you for two years now. <laughs> so I, uh, I dig it you're down to give this a shot. <laughs> just, I liked hearing you say it. I, I mean, this late, I, I don't think there's anywhere we can really go, like, date-wise, but damn, I want to take you out somewhere. using up your damn time like I always do and you're just you're sitting there like you always do <laughs> giving me all your attention I'm, I'm sorry <laughs> uh oh you're glad I wasted your time <laughs> well then I guess it wasn't a waste after all huh Okay, how about this for a plan? Like I said, you send me the California and Colorado data. We knock this out, and then tomorrow I can take you out on a real date. I mean, well, if, if this takes as long as I'm afraid it will, it, it might be a breakfast date after a night of no sleep, but... <laughs> I mean, as long as it's with you, I'm happy. 
Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's dig in. <laughs> 